we're Sharon and Andy. Welcome to our channel, Think Alive. In 2019, we bought an abandoned derelict Finca that used to be a bodega in the Mercia region of Spain. The building is an empty shell um, with no services, water, etc. And we're restoring it, doing all the work ourselves to give us an off-grid, debt-free home. In addition to that, self-sufficiency is very important to us. So we aim to produce as much of our own food as possible. And the idea behind these videos is to log our progress and provide you with something that you hopefully find interesting and informative. So, as this is our first video, we'd like to give you a guided tour of the property, try and explain where we're up to at the moment and what our plans are for the future. So we enter through the, the main front door into the living room or what's going to be the living room um, you see we've got a nice hole in the roof there where the chimney chimney breast used to be um, to the left is a room we're just storing old wood in it but we're probably going to use this as a bedroom or perhaps an office or something like that on the opposite side is the what's going to be the bedroom it actually used to be a wall here but we've taken it down already and um, we took it down because we're going to move it and make the room slightly bigger than it originally was. The room at the end is going to be an ensuite bathroom. And then over to the left we're going to have a walk-in wardrobe. At the end of the living room we come to a small corridor which we think originally maybe they used to hang up the, the ham and the melons. We found lots of old hanging basket type things in the room upstairs which we'll show you soon. Following on from there we come to our snug. Again you can see there's quite a bit of damage on the roof um, and to the chimney breast but it has actually been rectified, it's old damage um, and at the moment we're using it for our cement mixer. From the snug we enter what will be our kitchen. As you can see, we're using it as a temporary kitchen at the moment. It's got the original bread oven. And to the right, we enter the utility room. This was the old, this was the old corral. As you can see, the original troughs are still there. And we're going to keep those as a feature and just put some doors on them for storage. We've installed our first toilet when we got the property. There was no water, no sewerage, no electricity. So Andy's actually put all of that in now. So you can see Andy's put all the electrics in. We've got our um, power box there and our new patio doors. There was a very, very old barn door on there. Um, but it was so dark in here and there is only one small window. So we've decided to put French doors on here to let some more light in. It needs all pointing round the frame at the moment, so you won't see daylight through there eventually. Um, and that's the utility. From the kitchen we go outside to the courtyard. It's a walled courtyard, um, a lower and upper level. And here, the, one of the water deposits here, the place is totally off grid and we collect water from rainwater into these you can see down there and nope <laughs> you can just see the reflection in the bottom there is a, there is water in there it does work fairly well um the upper cut yard we're going to deck all this or do something with it and have a nice dining table and a barbecue area here as well Um, above the above the kitchen, there's the courtyard, the lower courtyard view from this position. Above the kitchen, there used to be an old hayloft that we're actually converting into apartment, so we can move into the property, obviously sooner because it's going to be a lot quicker to do. And um, we'll take you up and show you that. Okay, so we're just going up the stairs to the apartment now. As Andy said, we've started work on it. There's still a lot to do, um, but it just means we can get on with the main house quicker. So this will be our kitchen, dining, living area. Um, they're the old hessian hanging basket type things I mentioned earlier on. 
um, the ceiling needs a bit of work but this was just one room but we actually had a window outside that we, we all boarded up um, and when we investigated, took the, the boarding off, we found a second room which is this one that you see now. So we've opened up this wall, a couple of railway sleepers in there, needs cleaning off and needs pointing but you get the idea. And this now is a little hallway that you can access the apartment from the back of the property. And that's with the view to eventually renting this part of the house out um, and guests have got their own independent access. Moving on to the bathroom, we've done a little bit in here and he's halfway through grouting the tiles and uh, he's made a nice cupboard there to keep our towels, loo rolls and toiletries in. Um, nice ceiling in there but we've still got the floor to put in and we're in process of painting that wall there. So that's the bathroom. The other room up here is going to be a bedroom. As I say it's a quite a small apartment but it'll suit us because there's only the two of us. Um, the shower screen's still in here, the toilet's still in here along with bits of everything else at the moment. Um, the view out of the window very nice. Hopefully you can see that clearly. And right, we'll go and have a look at the outside. So this is the apartment from the outside. That's the bedroom window that we were just looking out of that you can see. And if we walk around this way, the bathroom window on the left, the main entrance door in the centre, and the living room window on the right and um, we've actually <laughs> I'll put a still in here of what it looked like when we bought it before we did any work to it Um, and then along the back, the green bit's actually our land and we've, we've got some almond trees there that the farmer kindly donated us for our fire. So we're back at the front door and just to the left, or the right if you're coming out of it, is our workshop. Um, we've got quite a large workshop here, we've actually done quite a bit of work on this already um, because we need it to do work in. <laughs> Um, we've got a big bench, we made, we made, made that myself and then various tools and things, benches all the way around and a little special room, this room houses all the controllers for the solar and the batteries and all the water pumps and filters and underneath there is a big tank they're all 7,000 litres that we purify ourselves through a series of different sizes and grades of filters, finishing with a UV filter. This is the water tank and it's actually the original tank that they used to keep the wine in because the place is actually an old bodega. Um, if we go back outside, there's some of our gardening tools. <laughs> Um, that's the old press, if you can make that out, that they used to press the grapes with. And we're going to restore that one day. We've got storage above there, we've got a mezzanine flooring above the, the room, which is great for storage and all bits of all sorts of stuff. Um, as you can see, the ceiling, if you can tell, got a lovely huge beam runs all the way across it. The room's actually eight metres wide
Okay, so coming out of the workshop, this is the old well. You saw the inside well, this is the external well. Um, falling down, as you can see, so we've strapped it up there. We don't want to lose any more than is already gone. And hopefully we're getting 20,000 litres of water delivered later this afternoon to fill it up. At the moment it's dry, you see the cracks at the bottom there. Okay, and so this is our land. We've got uh, the solar panels there and lovely old olive trees. We've got uh, our own olives. We've, we were gifted um, five litres of organic, pure, extra virgin olive oil that were made from these olives. Our farmer collected our olives for us last year and gave us a, a bottle of olive oil, which is absolutely delicious. You can see we've started planting a few things. As Andy said earlier, our aim is to be self-sufficient. So we thought we'd better crack on with it because these things don't grow overnight. Um, the ground is so hard, you can see the stones and rocks. So we've had to have Eddie the digger in, which is a, a different video, um, to dig us some trenches, which we then filled with some nice compost. And uh, some things are growing. We've got onions, potatoes, beetroot, melons, uh, asparagus we're trying, take a long time asparagus, um, carrots, leeks, salads, uh, so yeah we're, we're doing okay. As you can see we're pretty remote here, um, we've got the mountains in the background there, um, we actually do have a couple of properties nearby us but they're actually derelict or just farm buildings um, we come at the back here there's that's where we keep the generator at the moment which is going to have a box for it and these steps lead up to the back of the house where we were and um, for the apartment before I just want to show you the views you've seen the view out the bedroom window of course from the apartment and this is all the back of the house beautiful okay so I hope you've enjoyed our first little video please let us know what you think in the comments below we'll give you more detail on everything that we have done so far and how we did it in later videos um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed it and we hope to see you again soon. Well that's it for today. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell to receive notifications of future videos. Thanks for watching.